The coffee is black. The robot is very, very frisky. <laughs> and I'd like to welcome you to the Sunday, August 31st edition of Modeling Blog Daily, where Bill just rants about anything with a cup of joe. <laughs> and today it is a work in progress. I'm, I'm uh, hard at work on a wonderful model. It's a Lego Technique. 8271 wheel loader 200 pieces um, on the primo side it builds uh, the wheel loader and as you can see it is a fine uh, fine model and on the flipper it builds a grader and I'm going to build uh, build all these models with a ripper uh, in, in Europe a ripper is uh, kind of like a well, it's a ripper. <laughs> In the U.S., it's not a ripper. It's a. It's kind of like a hoe. Anyhow, this is a, a wonderful model. This particular model comes uh, with very excellent instructions, too. I want to say uh, something in particular about these Technique models of this size. Of all the modeling that I've done, and I have done uh, quite a lot of different models, including the micro models, the bi Bionicle, the Star Wars, uh, even, you know, the Erector models, which I'm getting into uh, slow but sure. Uh, and, uh, you know, my Kenex. But I, 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 one of my all-time favorites is the Technique. And not the large techniques, you know, the ones that take you five days to build. I really love the small technique models. And this is a super duper model, and it's typical of a small model. Uh, here's another one I just pulled from my shelf to show you. The, these small models are around, oh, they're, they're less than $20. Uh, here's a Lego Technique 82, 82 quad bike, again, 200 pieces. They're they're about a two-hour build, you know. It varies, and like the, this builds two fabulous-looking bikes, and you know, eventually I'll build them all. I think I've actually built one of these models. I I was going through my uh, box models, and I realized that I hadn't built this one yet, and uh, I'm I'm kind of in love though with the with the small models and why is that because it's a very very uh, tedious build and if you're a regular Lego builder that that builds you know the whatever with the bricks th these are more for engineering kind of uh, builds and you can do many things with the gears if you've watched any of my videos you realize that old Bill likes his gears I mean, I, I love my gears, and uh, with with the technique, you got gears out the wazoo, uh, and and you got a lot of beams, and you got a lot of things just to uh, to be creative with, and that's the whole point of this video. One of the the nice things about these sets, they are so complete that you can build several models, but the but the real fun with these kind of models, guys, is just dumping the parts in the box when you're all finished and seeing what you can come up with. Uh, because they give you a variety of parts where you can be creative and you can just have fun. Uh, and as a matter of fact, I think that's what I'm going to do when I'm, when I'm done building this uh, uh, wheel loader. Uh, I'm, I'm going to uh, see what I can come up with. The, the, the manual, by the way, for the wheel loader is uh, 64 pages. The manual for the uh, grader is uh, 46 pa 48 pages. So you get, you know, a lot of, in a lot of cases you get several instruction manuals. Uh, but the whole the whole thing about these small sets for a very little money, you get a lot of building pleasure, but you get a lot of wonderful parts where you can be creative. And as you can see, if you look at these parts for a technique, 
uh, set, you you don't have very many bricks. Uh, they 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 have some flats every once in a while, but for the most part, you're going to get the technique uh, beams with the holes. See the the technique beams all have the holes in them, and the technique uh, flats with the with the technical holes. And see here's some more. They've got these technique beams. Uh, and then, but but the but the thing that I like about it best, guys, is you get you get the worm gears, you get the the gears, you get the rods, you know, you, you, you get things uh, that go bump in the night, <laughs> and you can make. I, I love my gears. Uh, let's just let's be honest. I love my gears. And you can you can marry these up to the regular bricks if you want. Uh, you you could take break. usually when I do guys when I'm when I want to be creative I'll I'll, I'll, I'll take a set uh, like this uh, 8271 uh, and I'll I'll dump it in a box and then I'll just I'll see what I can come up with with that set because usually if I don't like to mix my mix my models a lot of a lot of y'all take your parts and dump them all in a big old box and. You know, and it might have ten models in in one box. I don't do do it like that. I I keep my my models separate from each other, and uh, sometimes I will combine two models. But when I'm done building them, then I'll separate the parts back again because I like to keep my parts organized. Where if I want to sell the box, to sell the model with the box, I'll be able to do it later on. So I would highly recommend that you get this one. Uh, I'm going to be showing you uh, this later on today uh, on my Bill's creation, but I, I'm having a good time, and uh, it, it's it's as you can see in mid building mode. Bill in red in a very very frisky uh, frisky robot, wishing for you and yours a happy technique kind of day. <laughs> Have a great one. My robot says sayonara, friend. Sayonara.